All right, welcome back to the Carton Show. Obviously, uh, the breaking news just a few moments ago. Uh, Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots expected to part ways after 24 years, six Super Bowl titles. And the, the reverberations around the league are significant because any coach that got the public vote of confidence from his owner 24 hours ago nope. <laughs> no longer has it. Yeah. Um, Bulls, uh, Eber 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 Blues. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Blues is loose. Yeah. You know, it, you know, Jacoby asked an interesting question uh, going into the break about Thanks, whether or not – you're welcome – uh, whether or not Bill Belichick's lost his fastball, missed the playoffs three of the last four years. And I think you have to, I think you have to separate the executive Bill you Belichick do. and the coach because the New England Patriots do not have all that much talent, period, stop. And two years ago, he did take him to the playoffs. Yeah. And I know they got blown out by the Buffalo Bills. He took a bad football team to the playoffs. If you watch New England, as we do as Jet fans, and obviously being in the Northeast, we have an interest in what they do. They had a terrible year record-wise. The- that team still plays solid defense. Absolutely. That team doesn't get blown out a lot. A couple games, yes. Yeah. They went out there and embarrassed themselves. But that team still competes. That team has always created problems for the opponent. And I think sometimes, because he's made himself an unlikable guy, because of the press conferences, because of the him versus Tom Brady nonsense, and then Tom, of course, wins the Super Bowl without him. So we're going to try to change the narrative about was it the chick or the egg, the egg of the chicken, Brady, Belichick, back and forth. I think sometimes we lose sight of just how good a game day coach he is. And as much as I dislike him, I've watched damn near every Patriot game for the last 20 years from a Jet fan perspective. And I would tell you today, maybe, maybe there are two coaches in the same pool as Bill Belichick in regards to being a game day coach. Yeah, look, like when you talk about the fastball being removed and has he lost it, I, I say no. All of what I'm you just you. talked yep. about, he did this without his best pass rusher, his best player in the secondary, like, and they still were a viable defense. I, I know he, they had struggles offensively. There was relationship gap even when it comes to the quarterback and head coach relationship. You can insert a coach that can bridge that gap. And if you already have the quarterback, you're good there. So for me, I don't know if there's six coaching opportunities or six teams that are safe. Like, I don't care who you are right. as far as the co- head coach of this league. If you're not Andy Reid, if you're not, I mean, shoot, who name another one? I like, mean, I, I can make the argument that Shanahan's not safe. Like, I, I just don't know if you, it, because you have such, at the end of the day, this league, regardless, forget players for a second. Owners want to win. Right. right. It's about winning. If you are saying to your fan base, who brings us the best op- option to win or opportunity to win, it's that guy right there. Well, let me, yeah. start, let me, let me just add well, that to it because people are going to start talking about jobs that we didn't think were available that now might be available because he's, a, he's ready now and he's a free agent as a head coach. I know we all have the utmost respect for Shanahan out there in San Francisco, but he's got more talent than any coach in the league. Right. If San Fran – doesn't get to the Super Bowl. And I think that would be the, you know, the line for them. Let's say San Fran gets upset. Dallas beats him. Philly beats him. However, it plays itself out. And you've got all that talent. And a young, kind of like Tom Brady, you know, guy mm-hmm. in Brock Purdy. If I own San Francisco, all due respect to Shanahan, who's built this perennial you know, monster out there in the NFC West. I could get Bill Belichick. So, can, can I just be the guy that does this? I'm going I'm I'm to be here and be like, I don't know if this is the yeah. Michael Jordan we're talking about. He, you, you, we, I can't separate the coach from the executive. He is the guy that said last year, you know who's going to be my offensive coordinator? Matt yeah. Patricia and right. Joe Judge. You're right. He's the guy who had drafted all those players that do not play on Sunday. He's the guy that brought in – he spent the most money in free agency he's ever spent in his entire career, and the next year did not make the playoffs. So the decisions that he's made – you would say if, uh, he gives you the best opportunity to win. That's what I've heard both of you say. Guess what? He hasn't won for four years. Forever. He's and, so, I, I don't think he's what you think he and is. And I want you to talk about his fastball, right? Yeah. His fastball was being able to get no-name guys and for those guys to develop and become New England Patriots. Who are these guys? Name one guy that's a, a, a like that, that's post a, Tom Brady. Post Tom Brady, that's a star yeah. on his team. Nobody well, on top of that. But, let me finish. Yeah. On top of the division, 
Ball, the Buffalo Bills, Dolphins are way ahead of the New England Patriots. It's a regression. You got to be able to keep up with the league. He has yet to do that. Look, that happens with success, though, right? It happens after two decades of success, and you guys want to just, you know, conveniently eliminate the fact that they no longer have a top 20 quarterback. Yeah, what coach is going to win a Super Bowl when you've got the 30th best quarterback in football? He picked that quarterback. I guess. And he stuck with that quarterback. Those are his decisions. There is the coach. Yeah. And there is the general manager. It's the same brain. It is not. You're, it is the coach. He's the best. He wears both tight. He wore both tight. I right? want to be very clear since apparently my I'm not speaking English today. <laughs> all right? Or your ears are not hearing me. I'm not hiring Bill Belichick to be an executive or a general manager or a team president. And as much as I dislike the guy, I promise the audience I would never lie to them. This is still, and I don't think it's close, the best game day coach in the NFL. I don't hire him to run the draft. I don't hire him to That's sign great. free agents. I hire him to coach the 53 guys that I'm giving him. So my pushback, why is he getting fired? He's not. 24 years is a long time. 300 plus wins is second only to Don Shula. And like everyone else, whether it's Michael Jordan going to the Wizards yeah. or anyone else moving from a successful situation, all jobs change eventually. And 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 I would I would push back on with you guys and ask the question of I'll look at you, Jacoby, because you're a Bills fan. I can't look at you in that sweater. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Well, I'm gonna look at you. Okay. You're telling me that. If, if the Bills go out this weekend to the Steelers, and you're a Bills fan, a lifer, you're all in on them. Yep. Bill Belichick wouldn't be on your radar? No, thank you. That's crazy talk. No, no thank crazy you. talk. No, thank I, it's you. not. It no, is. thank you. It's not. Like, no, thank you. Sean McDermott's never taken the Bills to a exactly. Super Bowl, let alone win What's six. What's the last time one? Bill's been to one? He was in the playoffs two years ago. Uh, yeah, yeah, in the playoffs. He's in, in the playoffs. Wow. for like an hour and a half. Wait, he was I, in the playoffs. I hate Bill Belichick more than all of you guys combined. Then why are you supporting him? Because I respect greatness. And as much as I dislike the guy, and I hate the fact that he's a bully. And the way he does his press conferences, he is the best coach in the history of the NFL. But it's about Period. What, stop. It's not about but what you've done. It's about what you can do. And what he can do right now is not win a football team, won't win a football he's game, got a bad and develop team. a team. You know yeah. he's got a bad he team. Built he built a bad team. He built, he team. built he, that team. He wouldn't be – his. your point, yes. and maybe if I say it. Please. His point is he wouldn't be building the next – team that he but, goes to. But why, why my can't point you guys is, separate those But my things. point is, if that's the case, yeah. why is he leaving? Because he's already been told that he's, well, out of his mouth, he's willing to take on somebody to be the because, GM. Because, well, you guys know, it's like anything else that comes a time where, you know, the, the street comes to an end. All right? 24 years in one place, by the way, is unheard of, especially in today's sports, right? It's time for them to have a fresh change. It's time for him to have a fresh change. You have to separate the executive and personnel decisions from whether or not you think he's a good coach. And I would tell you right now, I know your Bills fandom has been in question this year, but right now you're all in. So all good for me on that. Sean McDermott's never done a damn thing. No. That's not true. Is that no, it's not? That's not. You cannot it's say not. that. And I, and I listen, I hate the hat. Yeah. But – my point is, Buffalo, Bill, Buffalo Bills has emerged since Josh Allen last over the last yeah. four years. They are they are always in contention to win a Super Bowl. Had they is gotten that right? there? No. In contention, Cincinnati Bengals went to Orchard Park last year and beat and them up. Slapped up. But it's it's good to be. In, I'd rather be in the division around competing than not having a shot at all, oh, like the New England Patriots. Whoa, 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 whoa! So the Dallas Cowboys yeah. have an issue because they can't get past the division around, but the Buffalo but, Bills don't. And what, I don't. I don't. And, and, and so when you look at the Buffalo Bills, yeah. we, we've right. seen Joe Burrow come in, <clears throat> AFC Championship game, sure. and Super Bowl appearance. Okay. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes dominates. Why, why are we unwilling to admit that Sean McDermott may not be the guy to get them over the hump? It's not that he's a bad coach. But he can't get them over. He has not got them over the hump. They're in the playoffs. They, they so beat the Dolphins at enough. home. Yeah, when, when, we're talking about the greatest coach of all time. When has the standard dropped? 
Dude, like the, the you Buffalo talk about, Bills have now won four consecutive AFC's championships. And they've that, never sniffed the Super Bowl. I, I like, I, and, and this is bad. I almost, and, you almost make me want to root against the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> you should. Just to, you root against tone, everybody else. Okay. just to see if your tone changes By the after way, this week. I'm being told that there will be a press conference today at 12 at noon Eastern time where uh, Robert Kraft and Bill Belichick are having some type of, I guess, uh, press conference to discuss it. They're leaving as friends. Obviously, the great career he had in New England. Uh, and it's time to move on. Was it? And I'm telling you right now, if I'm San Francisco, I'll add them to the list. No. If they get eliminated early. We if I'm chance. Dallas. If I'm no. Philly. If I'm a million teams out there, this guy's better than every coach in the league. And I don't even like the guy. We've you have, you have a traumatic experience with him. Yeah. There's something about it's, it's him. There's something about he him. He owns you. Because your team has lost him so many times that you're completely delusional about his current abilities. Yeah, but we've seen Michael Jordan in a wizard uniform, right? It's ugly. Yes. We do not want to see this That's man what you're getting. as this another is, head coach. This is Patrick he should go the down. And be done with it. Bill Belichick should either die or live with the New England Patriots. Bottom line. Why? Why? Because he can't do anything else. Why do you want to see an act? Uh, act? First of all, he was horrible with the Browns. The, the Jets was a disaster. His only, uh, uh, I guess his. He, oh, the, the six Super Bowls. Yeah, right. Only. That's, that's only. That's that's only. Happen. All he did was win six championships. I all he did was go to nine of them. No sense Here's either. that. There's only been 57 <laughs> Super Bowls. I think you guys are resting on his laurels, and it's over. Well, hold it's on. It's over. What else do you rest on? How I, about now? The last few years, he's done nothing. Just for the record, I introduce Greg every morning as what? Green Bay Packer Hall of Famer, sure. Super, Super Bowl, Bowl champion. champion. I introduce you every morning. As the as God, what? Willie Colon, <laughs> the King of New York. King. Super Bowl yeah. champ. Super Bowl champion. The big him. Why do you rest on your laurels? Because you allow us to, right? <laughs> but when you talk about who's... Because like, you did it. I get that. But my point is, what we've seen thus far, he has yet to produce. So my point is, why am I going to keep talking about the glory years when we're living in the present? Okay. I, I got a question Take for you really quick. We both love Mike Tomlin. We yes. both understand how valuable he's been and what he's been able to do has been remarkable. Yes. No losing season. 17 tenure, years. All that. Yep. Mike Tomlin, how do you feel about him? He's the greatest coach of all time. <laughs> what and so if Mike Tomlin, if you think Mike Tomlin has lost his, his fastball? No, his team is playing the Bills in the playoffs. New no, England is not. Okay, okay. So a couple years ago, Bill Belichick had a team in the postseason. And you, we were, were we saying that he had lost his fastball then? Yeah. And so Mike Tomlin didn't make the playoffs last year. Were right. you saying he had lost his fastball? No. Why not? Well, I'm telling you not because he's going to the playoffs right now. He hasn't had a losing season. It's all about the present. Mike Tomlin not didn't hire his two sons to be Again, on the, the coaching staff. We're not talking Mike about Tomlin. an executive. Dude, no, we're he's the same coach. brain. It's, it's the exact it's same brain. It's the same man. You can't the separate the two. You, you can't separate the two. The, the general manager is not deciding what to do on third and long in the fourth quarter of a game. The head coaches. Uh, and you lose the argument when it, you keep going down the road of he's a bad executive. I don't disagree. We all acknowledge that. It's the point is, I'm not hiring him for the 12th time to be an executive. I'm hiring him because he's the best game day coach is in the will, history you think he's of the NFL. To do that? Is he yes, th- he said it two days ago exactly. that he's willing to do it. Then the why leave? One of the worst offenses in the entire NFL yes. was from that brain. And it's not the executive side. That's the head coach. One of the worst offenses in the league yes. came from that brain. And you yeah, want to hire him. And you're going to replace Mike Shanahan. I, I, or I would, Shanahan as a matter of fact, the more I think about it, I think there might only be two teams in the entire league that wouldn't now have a meeting amongst their executive staff Tomlin, about whether or not I'd Tomlin, bring in Harbaugh, Bill Shanahan, Bill McDaniel. By the way, I, if I'm the Pittsburgh Steelers, I consider it too. No chance. Right? This is if I'm the Steelers, Craig, this is if I'm San Francisco, no, no, if I'm Dallas, no, if I'm no, Philly, no. everyone except for maybe everybody. Kansas City. No. Andy Reid's the only coach that's safe right now. No. That's uh, maybe the Baltimore Ravens, possibly, but let's see what they do in the playoffs this year. So, uh, the good news, though, is that the one team outside of Kansas City that has announced already this morning they have zero interest in bringing in the greatest coach of all time. Are the New York Jets? So uh, we have we have that we have that going for us. But look, folks, it is a celebration. Oh, we got another one. That was weak. That was a good. Oh. Yeah. That was like me last night. Oh, I tried, man. but it just you know, didn't happen the way I wanted it to. Uh, look, Bill Belichick is out. Nick Saban is out. Yeah. So for Pete Cow. for those of you, Pete Cow's out. For those of you oh, like me, who believe that we need villains in sports. We just lost the two biggest villains in the wow. NFL and college football all within a 24-hour span, and I am loving it.